Okay, finding the value of a new score that will yield a given mean. That's kind of a long-winded way of saying, what do I, what do I want to score in order to get a certain average? So in this case, Yoko scored 82, 86, 87, and 88 on four tests. She's got one coming up, and she wants to know what she needs to get in order for her overall average, or mean, to be 81. So if you think about it, what we've got is a, a we're going to have a total of five tests, right? But she's only taken four of them. So we've got to find the mean, we've got to add all five of those scores up, and we want to uh, end up with that equaling 81. So here's what we've got. We need to know that the total points to give an average of 81 has to be 405 points. Right? Because if we, we, we're going to add everything up, uh, 82 plus 86 plus 87 plus 88 plus, we don't know, divide by 5, and we want that to equal 81. Well, if we multiply both sides by 5, then we know that the sum of all five of these scores has to be 5 times 81, which is 405. And we know we've got four of them that equals 383. So all we have to do is subtract that, th I'm, s the th I'm sorry, 343. We subtract that from the 405, and that gives the score. So she can re really kind of bomb this one and still get a good average. Okay, so here's the, here's the process. We're going to figure out how many points total we need to have, figure out how many points we actually have, and then just do a subtraction. Here's another example. We've got six-day cross-country bike challenge. So we're going to ride our bike for six days. Here's what he's biked for five of the days. How many miles does he have to go on the last day in order to average or get a mean of 60? Well, if it's six days and it, he wants to average 60 miles per day, then he's got to ride a total of 360 miles. Right? That's how we get this. How much has he ridden so far? Well, we add all of his miles up. we get 297 do our little subtraction and we get 63 miles so on his last day he's got to ride 63 miles which is doable he's ridden close to that each time so that's not too bad okay here's one for you to practice so work this out and come back and pause the video work it out come back and check your answer Okay, here's how you should have worked it out. We know that we need a total of 288. We've got 225 so far. Do our little subtraction, and our final answer is 63.